Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and this is the Giant Robot News for January 12th, 2000 and... <laughs> First bit of news is Shockwave Labs SL125 Upgrade Kit for Kingdom Blaster. Now, I have not seen Kingdom Blaster in the flesh, so to speak, but several of my friends, including T-Man, who lives here in Maryland, has already gotten a hold of it. It comes with some new speaker sets, some gap panel fill-ins, and that's about it. It's a nice little addition. I like it. I like the gap panel fill-ins more than I do the actual speakers. Uh, it's just a personal preference. I'm really glad a lot of these third, or not third parties, but independent companies are making these panel gap fill-ins because Lord knows our transformers are really hollow lately. Next up, we've got some Package images and some more clear images of MPG-01 Shoki. MPG stands for Masterpiece Gatai. So Shoki in hand, he, it looks pretty darn good. I'm not going to argue with the look of it. It, it looks good. I like the look. My worry is all of the train paneling on this figure up here in the shoulders, the shoulder pads, and then the feet. That's all clear plastic. That has me worried. Oh, and the arms here. You can see plastic's clear. Unless they hope, well, hopefully they didn't screw it up because if they did, this plastic is not going to last. The box looks phenomenal. I love the look of the box. That is an absolutely beautiful box. But who cares about the box? What we care about is the figure. And I can't deny that this figure looks good. It does. It, it really looks good. And speaking of giant robot trains, we've got our first official looks at MPG-02 Getsui. And this is, well, new item. All right, so just some information. 17,600 yen, tax included. That's about 154 bucks USD. Coming out in late September. Package, uh, target 15 years old. Getsui from the Trainbot, who played an active role in the TV anime Transformers Headmasters. The MPG is an abbreviation for Masterpiece G, which means Gatai, Giant, and Great. Okay, you could have just left it at Gatai. G G Gatai is good enough. It's an EF65 electric locomotive, blue train. Let's see, what else? Anything else in here? Triple change specification, transforms the right, le right leg of Raiden. You could complete right Raiden by combining train bot Shoki and four types of other train bots. We get train bot, get train bot body, Photo, pantograph, weapon night laser, joint parts, conversion line rail, con conventional line rail, character card, and an instruction manual. All right, let's look at the pictures. I can't argue with the robot mode. Robot mode looks good. It looks really good, except the original figure had a, like, the entire front end of the train hanging off the back, like the entire front, like sixth of the train in this figure or the, this updated figure, it's just the very front of the train, just the very, very front. So that is a little weird, but the robot mode looks good. I, I mean, I like it. I like it. The chest is a little bit weird. The original figures had just flat chest and even in the even in the show, it kind of had a flat chest that's got a little bit of a, I don't want to say a pot belly because that's not what's happening. It's a bulging chest, we'll say. It's fine. That's just me being stupidly nitpicky. Train mode looks bonkers good. Like, I cannot deny that that train mode does not look good. That looks fan freaking tastic. And here are the other bits. The, are the electric bits, the rails, the gun, the night laser, and whatever this bit is. And then we come to the leg. This is a little weird because there is supposed to be a, or the sixth member that forms the crotch also forms the upper leg, but that's not the case here. The figure itself, or this figure, Getsui, this gray piece we have right here is part of this figure. But I don't know where this bit fits in because it doesn't look like it this figure comes with this bit or maybe this is the com 
Gatai component or combiner component that was mentioned or that I just read off to you. And maybe that is the actual combiner component. And then whoever, is it Furai? Is that the crotch? Will peg into this. That's a little weird. I'm going to be, I'm a little bit odded out audit out. I'm a little bit weirded out by by this, so we'll, we'll see. The other thing I'm not too keen on is the amount of kibble hanging off the back here. It's not that big a deal. For those of you that don't rem know or don't even care, well, if you don't care, you're not watching this, there were two very large guns that figures came with that acted as heels that pegged into the inside and then kind of stuck out of the side of the feet. Will this figure get that? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Overall, I think it's going to be a solid release. It definitely looks the part, and I'm interested in picking this set up now. Curses. Moving on from Masterpiece, we have our first look at Transformers Generation Select's Sandstorm. Now, what was this? This came from Chef, uh, Chefatron's video review of kickback he also dropped a sandstorm in there sandstorm was or is a kingdom a redeco of kingdom scorponok with a new head so here is the buggy mode oh that is zoomed in way too big there, there we go buggy mode and then we've got the robot mode and you can see new head sculpt but it's the same figure overall, just a repaint. I like the repaint. I, I like the repaint. I think it looks good. I just wish the mold was better because I'm sorry, the Scorbinock mold kind of sucks. If you like it, great. I'm glad you like it. But mine can't even stand up right now. It just keeps falling over. But I am kind of, I am glad we're getting this. What was it? Was it a BotCon exclusive? I don't remember, but it, it was a con exclusive that was a repaint of the original Scorponok. Speaking of the original Scorponok, when the heck is that remit or that re-release of that Scorponok coming out? Because I want to get a hold of it. I've never owned that original Scorponok figure, and I want it. And lastly, Toy Fair 2022 has officially been canceled. That sucks. That really does, but I'm not surprised. It, it sucks. It just sucks. I kind of wish they canceled CES, but they didn't. So, all right, let's see here. There was, hold on, there was something in here that I wanted to talk about. Uh, okay. With about 700 toy manufacturers who remain committed to exhibiting in Toy Fair, constant unfounded rumors on social media and everywhere, everywhere else defied the Toy Association's best effort to sustain the show amid global uncertainty surrounding the pandemic. Screw you guys. Screw you. No, social media was saying that it was canceled based on reports that they were reading out of the Wall Street Journal and other reputable sources. It wasn't just social media. Social media was talking about it and regurgitating what had been stated by actual news outlets, not just some couch back quarter or quarter what, what, what's the phrase? Couch quarterback stating, oh, they should cancel Toy Fair. I, for one, think they should have because pandemic. But you don't get to say, you don't get to point at social media and go, oh, it's the, the social media people. No, no. Companies were pulling out of Toy Fair and saying, no, we're not going based on the pandemic. Just grow a pair and just say, look, in the safety of everyone, we are using an abundance of caution. I also wonder how much of this was their insurance company coming in and saying, look, no, you can't do it. We're not going to cover you if you do. That, that's my speculation. That is not me actually saying anything. But no, screw you guys. Screw you guys for saying, oh, it's social media's fault. No, just no. All right, everybody, that was the news for today, January 12th. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments. What do you think of the Toy Fair cancellation? What do you think of the new figures revealed? Are you going to be picking up Masterpiece Raiden and all of its figures? As I said, let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching. I have been Ball Matrix, and I'll catch you all on Friday.